Well, what's up, YouTube? Young Buck Refrigeration, man. Late night, late night. I just made it to this other Walmart. Uh, we just got calm loss on three racks, so it should be pretty easy. It shouldn't be that hard. Um, uh, I could take uh, extra steps by checking the voltage and all that connections on the board first, but what I'm going to do is just reset the controllers, call uh, the Walmart home office, and uh, verify that we have communication with these racks. If not, we have to go like a step further, like make sure we got the you know correct voltage um, uh, coming in, and then uh, the network cable. Make sure that's um, got the proper um, VDC uh, voltage, which is about what 2.4, 2.6. Um, but I'm pretty sure we don't have to go the extra far. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do this quick uh, so I can get home and uh, rest up, because I do. I uh, plan on going to a Zach Speed, Zach Speeds tomorrow uh, just to see what's going on with a cooler. So, um, yeah, so let's get to it. output module Everything in okay status. All right, guys. So I just called the home office. Everything is connecting like it's supposed to. I don't think that uh, rat output module number 34, I think it's, um, I think it's uh, disabled. Um, I couldn't see. I thought it was in that panel, but I don't think that's uh, number 34. I can see number 33, um, but I mean, everything communicating the racks that they uh, said was in calm loss. Uh, it's so funny because I got another call right down the road. Uh, this for real got to be the last call. I um, mean, I'm nearby. Um, it's in South Carolina. I'm in Georgia. It's in South Carolina, so it's going to be about like an hour, um, 45 maybe. I'm not sure, but I got to go um, to South Carolina now. Um, and it's bad over there, I heard. Uh, they got a freezer. It's indicating 14 degrees. Maybe the door open. I'm not sure. Um, I know if I'm already like getting sleepy. So hopefully I got enough brain to try to figure it out. Um, uh, I would hate to do. Let me see. Yeah, I want to talk one more for. Hopefully they don't have the doors closed on me. Let's just say that. When I would go there. <laughs> More likely door probably open. Ain't no telling. 
Um, but yeah, we're gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna get this video out to y'all um, right now. Uh, something quick and easy. Um, like I said, I use Walmart's always something sensitive, you know. But um, it is what it is. Uh, uh, the stores that we usually do, like Piggly Wiggly's, Dollar Stores, and all that, I mean, they're not mon Well, some of them are monitored. But we like are surprised that we ain't having got nothing from uh, them. And the area I was at, which was about two hours and forty-five, close to three, uh, where I was at, like I said, we got a lot of stores in that area, and none of them have power. So when power tends to get back restored, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to go back into them areas and recheck. So uh, we might be uh, loaded up. Um, but they are talking about certain areas not able to have power for like weeks which is crazy um the area i recently seen they got a lot of power lines down for miles and miles and that's going to take a whole team to clean up all that uh tree branches and then you have to think about the power lines that you have to re-put back up um I heard that it was another one coming, but I doubt, I highly doubt, but just gonna keep an eye out. I think it's Joyce. I'm not sure. I haven't really been paying attention to it. Um, but the only uh, the one hurricane that's concerning me is the one that's over Mexico. Um, how that one just uh, hovering like for a amount of days. Um, I seen pictures and videos uh, with my two eyes because um, we know some uh, folks that's over here. It's like family. Um, um, and I see they showed me the videos, um, so I'm like, whoa, that is crazy. Like, could y'all imagine having a hurricane, uh, over your area, like, for over a certain amount of hours, and it's just constantly rain, flooding, and all that? That's, that's a whole nightmare right there. Um, better be lucky if your house high enough, uh, to at least get by, but man. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it. I don't want to be talking heads off. I feel like I've been talking too much all day anyway. Um, really haven't been getting too much details because, like, it's just walkthroughs, to be honest, just going through everything. Um, so, I mean, it's good giving y'all, like, insider of it. And then, um, like I said, I like going behind myself as soon as I get off. Uh, done recording stuff. I like going behind myself, make sure I ain't leave tools. Just, just going behind myself, rechecking myself. If I miss something, I usually, you know, pop up my phone and uh, show y'all everything just being simple and uh, just easy. So, um, yeah. If y'all made it this far, hope y'all consider subscribing, like the video. And uh, it's about one in the morning. Uh, so I've been out since nine in the morning. So, yeah. <laughs> I had an energy drink. I ate. I had some good food that I ate on the road. Um, and I got like some little snacks and stuff uh, to keep me. Uh, I got to go by a gas station to fill up on some gas. Uh, I know gas stations ain't uh, too packed in this area, which is good. Um, so, yeah. See y'all. Be safe out there.